Welcome back once again to HowToCookWetFood.com. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. On the menu today, and as you can see, we're going to make a fish biryani. Now there are hundreds and hundreds of ways of making biryani, and especially with fish, because all fish is fairly delicate and it's not cooked in the same way as beef, lamb or chicken, say. I'm going to show you a slightly different process to a normal meat-based biryani. It takes a little while, it is delicious. Today I'm going to be using a kingfish. You can use any fish you like. Let's go and do it. Okay, let's start with our fish. As you can see, I've got a nice whole kingfish I'm using today. Cut into some really kind of nice chunky parts. It's been descaled, cleaned and everything, it's fine. Now, you can use any fish you want, but try and use a fish that's got some body to it because, you know, in the biryani, it can break really easy. So you have to, you know, the kind of, this is a bit tougher, do you know what I mean? Like, salmon's kind of okay, that's borderline, but a nice cod or something like that, which has got a kind of nice tough meat. That's what we want. So nice and clean in there. I'm simply gonna drop in some powders, as you can see here. I've got a teaspoon of each coriander, howdy or turmeric, cumin and chili powder and I've got about half a teaspoon of garam masala powder there. So in that goes, as does some chopped fresh ginger and some minced garlic, about a heat teaspoon of both. Simply I'm going to get my hands in there and work this in. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fry this in some oil and we're going to cook it about sort of 70 to 75 percent of the way then we're going to remove it and then we'll add it to our rice so give this a nice coat ideally you should leave this maybe for an hour or two in your refrigerator there you go, that's perfect. So just like that, let's go over to the cooker. Now before we start with our fish, let's do our rice. I've got my rice in there, a basmati rice, which I've washed several times and I've now left it to soak for about 45 minutes. You want to soak it for about minimum of half an hour to an hour, 45 minutes. It's swelled up really nicely already. I've got some salt in there. I'm now going to add some cumin seeds, a few cloves, and some green cardamom. This will cook, bring it to the boil, and it will cook in about, only about four minutes. So let's do that, and then we're gonna set that aside, and move on to the fish. Okay, there goes our rice, nicely cooked. It's got a little bite to it, so it's only sort of 85 to 90% of the way there. And that's how we want it, because we're gonna cook it that extra bit. fish ready. Okay let's move on. So let me set that aside. Now we're going to do the fish. Now whatever you're going to fry your fish in is the pot that all the rice is going to go in. So make sure you've got a decent sized pot. What we're going to do, as you can see I've got some oil in there. I'm using a sunflower oil. I've got like a half a centimetre in there. Let's get our fish drop it in and again we're going to cook our fish about 85% of the way any of that extra masala drop it in now that's going to add all to the goodness of the flavor right so let's fry this I would say because of the size of these it means they're quite chunky I'm probably going to do them about about five minutes in total turning them fairly often. I'll be back when that's done. Okay, our fish is now done. Let's just remove this from the pan. Now we're gonna use this oil, which has got all those beautiful flavors still in it, to make our masala. And let's just set our fish aside. 
we go, that's beautifully cooked. Not quite there, so it's still nice and juicy. So the next stage is, I've got some chopped onions here, finely chopped. Got some more garlic and ginger, about a teaspoon each. Absolutely wonderful. You've got all that crispy little bits from that fish in there as well, which is going to give it a real fantastic flavour. Now we're going to go in with some more powders. That was just under a teaspoon of cumin, howdy, which is turmeric, and coriander powder. I've also got here a little touch of methi or fenugreek leaves. So simply we're going to cook this for about three to four minutes just to soften these. We don't want them to get crispy, just soften and I'll be back. Keep stirring it. But as you can see this is coming on really nicely. At this point I'm going to throw in some cashew nuts some dried fruit, you can use sultanas or raisins, entirely up to you. And a small amount of chopped tomato. I'm now going to add some fresh chilli. And I'm adding them whole, I've just split them down the centre. And I'm adding quite a few, I mean this is entirely up to you. An amazing smell coming out of this right now. I know this is going to be fantastic. Okay, let's cook this again. We're on a kind of medium heat. Let's cook this for about three to four minutes. What I want now is these tomatoes to break down slightly. Keep stirring. There we go. The tomatoes are slightly breaking down, which is great. I'm going to just add a little touch of lemon, squeeze of lemon juice in there. Now I'm going to add plain yogurt. There's about two to three cups our yogurt there. Let's turn the heat down to a simmer now. Give this a really good mix. And again, let's just cook this for about another four to five minutes. And this should be really beautifully creamy. And then ready for us to add our fish. Keep stirring again. There we go, we've got a lovely, lovely masala there. What I'm gonna do now is just a little bit of salt. Again, entirely up to you, how much you put in. And some coriander and some fresh mint. I'm also holding back a little bit of this because I'm gonna add some more as we layer this up. Now I want to take out about a third of this. And what we're going to do is add a few pieces of our fish. Sprinkle over some rice, which again, don't forget, is 
not quite cooked, but nearly there. And this is going to be fantastic. Just a nice layer there. Then we're just going to put in a little bit more of the masala. Again, a few more pieces of our fish. Fresh coriander. Touch of mint. And we've got some more rice. The rest of our coriander, the rest of our mint, and then the last layer. I mean, of course, you can see now why we needed a large pot at the beginning. That's it. We're going to add a few drops of a food colour. I'm going to add a lid. I'm going to cook that on a low heat for about 10 minutes. Okay, I've turned the heat up. Just take a look at that. Absolutely wonderful. I'm really happy with that. Let me serve that up. And there we go. That is a fantastic fish curry. Hope you enjoy it. It does take a little time to cook, but it's really, really worth it. See you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.